Hey, hello, my name is Linda Hillman, and some of you may know me as Pastor Linda, as an author, and even as a coach. But today I'm coming to you as Coach Linda Hillman. And many of you have asked me, what is it that you do? Um, and so that's what this video is about. It's about um, helping you understand what it is that I do. And I have some notes, so I'm going to bring them up so I can stay on point and kind of get my message out to you. Um, so I decided to, like I said, make this video to give you an understanding of what it is. I am the founder and owner of Destined to Be You Empowerment Group located here in the city of Stockton. And don't let that... Um, deter you from dealing with me or working with me because you can work with me via Skype. You can work with me over the phone. Um, and if you are local, we can definitely meet in person. I have different ways that we can help and that I can help you. And so I want to be able to share that with you today. But I, um, my company name again is Destined to Be You Empowerment Group. And I personally am a transformation empowerment coach. So let me explain to you what it means, that what it is that I do. Destined to Be You Empowerment group, which I call Destined to Be You for short, or D2BU. <laughs> D2BU, yeah, yeah, in the house, I like that. So anyway, um, we help individuals, let me read it because I wrote it, and I said when I wrote it, it was profound. We help individuals understand that creative passion along with self-will mixed with a workable process will always equal productivity and productivity equals results. Okay, so let me say that again. We help individuals understand that creative passion along with Self-will mixed with a workable process will always equal productivity and productivity will always equal results and guarantee and guarantee forward motion. Okay, so if you are stuck, if you are in a situation, maybe you don't know what you're on earth for. Maybe you don't know why you were born. Maybe you just you know, you're clueless to what it is that you are supposed to contribute to the world, well, we can help you with that. Maybe God has already revealed to you his plan for you, but you don't know how to get started. Maybe you've been walking in that plan, but now you seem to be going around in circles. And so wherever you may find yourself in those three categories, we can help you get you moving forward. Again, we want you moving forward. We don't want you stuck. It doesn't help anyone if you are stuck because there are people that are depending and assigned to you and they need you to move forward so you so they can find you. And if you're moving, it's easier to find you than if you're stuck in the same position, in the same circle, in the same atmosphere, in the same community. You're not moving out. You need to get out to where the people are that are assigned to you. And they may not be local to you. They might be like I had to realize that not just my, my coaching clients weren't just here in California, weren't just here in the city of Stockton, weren't just here in the Bay Area or in the Central Valley, but they might be in New York, they might be in London, they might be in Romania, they might be in Australia, they might be in China. And so how can I effectively get to them? Because we're talking about forward movement, okay? And this guarantee, this forward movement is going to always guarantee that you reach your destined, your destination. That's why my company is called Destined to Be You. The people that work with me, I like to call my clients Destined Achievers because they always achieve what it is they were meant to achieve. Okay. So let's go on. Let's go on. This is getting exciting. Are you excited about it? I know I am. And so um, with me as your coach, I become your accountability partner. You will be able to achieve your goals, the goals that you set for yourself. I don't come in and say, okay, these are your goals for the week. I don't do that. That's not the way that I coach. 
I say, okay, what is it that you're going to accomplish? Because you know your capabilities and your incapabilities. You know what you're ready for and what you're not ready for. So I don't want to set some lofty goal that you're not ready to do. And so you won't do the work because you're not, your mindset's not there yet. So I let you set the goals, but keep in mind, even though you are setting the goals, I am going to challenge you. I'm going to make sure that you achieve what you say that you want to achieve. One of the things I always say to my clients is, you said this is what you wanted. See, when it's something that you want, you fight for it a little bit more. When it's something that you need, you fight for it a little bit more. If I tell you what to want, if I tell you what to need, you might not want to fight for it. You might say, well, that's what she said. I don't see that about myself. So when it comes out of your mouth, then, excuse me, when it comes out of your mouth, then you are held accountable to what you say, okay? And my only agenda is to help you discover who you are and what it is that you're supposed to do while here on earth. Transformation empowerment coaching is not for the faint in heart. Once you see, once you start to see the results you can achieve as a client of mine, you will understand why so many of my clients are inspired not just to achieve their goals, to but to go over and above what they have achieved or what they said they wanted to achieve. That's why I let you set the goals because you set the goals at the level that you want. Once you start seeing yourself achieving your goals and you start seeing yourself move in the direction that you need to be moving in your life, doesn't I'm not going to say it gets easier because that would be a lot. Because if you know anything about life, life never hands anything to you. It doesn't get easier. But once you're walking in your purpose and once you're walking in your destiny, once you understand that this is why I was created, this is why I was born, this is what I'm supposed to do, it makes it easier for you to stand and take ground. It makes it easier for you to fight for what it is that you know you're supposed to be doing. Some of you are on a nine to five job and that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You took the job because it was easy. You took the job because you were good at it, but it doesn't necessarily mean you were purposed to do that thing. And so what you need to know, some of you, you know, unfortunately married someone because it was easy for you to marry that person than to marry some other person or you you know you decided I want to have children I don't want to have children but a lot of us are settling for what we have as opposed to going after what is uh, destined for us what is guaranteed for us what is already set apart with your name on it you know we sing a song in church um, um God's got a blessing God's got a blessing with your name on it and we we that sounds good. At the end of the day, it sounds good, but do we actually want to go after that blessing? Do we actually want to achieve that blessing? Do we actually want to receive that blessing? Most of the time, the answer is no. You know how I know the answer is no? Because you don't do anything to get the blessing. You think the blessing is just going to drop in your lap. That's not how it goes. If you look at it, the Bible says that you have to have faith. You have been given a measure of faith. You have to work that faith. You have to utilize that faith. When you utilize your faith, it says you can speak to a mountain and that mountain has got to be moved. But most of you won't speak to the mountain because you're afraid that the mountain is going to move. Hmm. Yeah. So my clients achieve over and above what they say, because when they start seeing the success, they start reaching for more. They were like, I didn't know this was available to me. And it's not just for you. This is not just for you. It encompasses everyone in your family. It encompasses everyone in your community and your circle of influence. And it will, you know, when you are work, walking in your purpose and when you're walking in your destiny, when you're doing what you were designed to do, I always like to say this, that God is the best designer there is because each and every one of us is a designer original. None of us are a copycat to somebody else. We all have a distinct uh, purpose. We all have a distinct design to us. And that 
if we are operating in that, if we're moving in that, if we're doing what it is that we're supposed to be doing, then everything else comes together and the world works a little bit better. The world is better off if you're doing what you were designed to do. Why? Because we need you to do what you're designed to do. I need you to do what you're designed to do so I can do what I was designed to do. OK, and so it not only helps you, but it helps your families. You start to be that foundation that catapults your family into the greater, into the next level, into things that will absolutely, absolutely cause you to be exactly who God called you to be. And so what do you have to do to be a, one of my coaches? What what does one of my clients look like? Not my coaches, unless you are a coach. And then we can talk about bringing you on because that's what Destined to Be You um, Empowerment Group is. It's a co-op of coaches that are successful at getting people to understand who they are and what they do. They, I may have some business coaches. I may have some life coaches. I may have some... Um, weight, you know, health coaches and all of that. But we all come together with one mind is that that's to make sure that you are the best you that you can be. And so um, if you want to be one of my clients, what the first thing you have to understand is that my style is in your face. I'm going to be in your face. I'm going to hold you accountable and I'm not going to coddle you. I'm not going to uh, play nice with you. I'm not going to say, oh, that's all right. Maybe next time. No, you said you wanted to accomplish it by this date. And I believe in sp um, in smart goals. So when you set a goal, it has to be a smart goal. If you don't know what that means, then you need me to coach you because I'm going to help you know what that means. Okay. So you need to set smart goals and I hold you accountable. So my, my coaching style, you need to understand. I love you with the love of God. I want you to accomplish everything that you will have. And I'm not coming after you because I don't like you. I'm coming after you because I do, because I love you. And I want to see you accomplish what you said you're going to accomplish and what God says you're going to accomplish. And so I'll show you how I help you figure that out. Um, but you got to be willing to be coachable. You got to be willing to do the process. You got to be willing to go through the process because everything has a process. Everything has a plan. And Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the plans I have concerning you. And so you got to want to work the plan. I always say, work the, if you work the plan, the plan will work. If you work the plan, the plan will work. Okay. And so you got to be willing to do the work, do the work, do the work. And you will see results. You have to be willing to be self-aware. Well, what does that mean? That sounds like some mystical stuff. No, self-aware is simply this. You've got to take ownership of what you did, what you didn't do. And you got to take ownership for choices that you make, for decisions that you made. You got to take you got to take responsibility for your past, for your present and how it's going to affect your future. You got to be responsible for that and you got to be willing to make a change. If you want your future to look different than your present and your past, then guess what? There has to be a transition. There has to be a, a mindset change. OK, and so you need to be um, able to take responsibility and especially for your successes, because many of us allow our successes in life to hold us in that pattern. And so we're in this same holding pattern going around and around and around waiting for something different to change because we keep holding on to, well, I remember 10 years ago when I did this and it was so successful or I'm, I'm in a job right now and I'm getting great success in this job because I'm good at it. Just because you're good at it doesn't mean your purpose for it. We all have talents and gifts. We all have abilities, but are we using those abilities in the best way? Are we using them in the best light? Are we absolutely accomplishing what it is we're supposed to be accomplishing? Or are we making someone else great? Because we feel unworthy to be great ourselves. Okay? And so you have to be focused and you have to have a desire to seek clarity. If, if something comes to you and you're not clear about it, then you have to do the work to get clear about it. Because you need to do everything with a focus and on purpose and with clarity. You need to understand to the best of your ability what it is that God wants you to do. Now, let me interject this. This is not in my notes. So this is just coming to me as I'm speaking. 
God, his thoughts and his ways are higher than our thoughts and our ways. And so there will be times where he will have you do things that you may not understand. But you've got to be willing to say, you know what, God, even though I don't understand this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this leap of faith. I'm going to step out and I'm going to do the impossible because that's where my faith is. If I can see it, my God, if I can see it, I don't need faith for it. I don't need faith for a 20 inch uh, um, monitor for my computer. I already have one. What I need faith for that for? I don't need faith for a nice computer that runs and works well. I have that. What I need faith for is the next level of computer. What I need faith for is that tablet. What I need faith for is something that I don't have. Something that I I don't see that I can get in my near future. That's what I got to have faith for. Faith is in the unseen. The unseen. If you can't see it, if if you can't see it in your, in your today, that's what you need to have faith for. Because Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It's the evidence. Faith is the evidence of what you can't see. So what I tell my clients is you've got to be able to visualize it, to see it before you see it. You've got to see it in your spirit. You've got to see it in your Holy Ghost. You've got to see it with faith eyes. And then you'll be able to see the manifestation of it. But you can't see the manifestation of it until you can visualize it in the spirit. Um, I don't want to preach at y'all. I don't want to preach. I'm getting excited. I don't want to preach at you. I'm just here to tell you what I do as a coach. <laughs> okay. And so now that um, you kind of know what it is that you are supposed to do, you need, you need to know who you are as far as are you willing to do the work. If you're willing to do the work and if you're coachable and if you don't mind somebody getting in your face and holding you accountable for what you say, then I am the coach for you, okay? Um, and you need to understand that there's going to be some tweaking. Some of you are already on your path. You're already, already walking in the right direction, but maybe there needs to be a little bit of tweaking in your mindset. OK, so we work on that. We work on you being tweaked in your mindset so you don't get stuck in your past or your present. I also help you with those of you that made bad decisions with your habits, your hang ups, those things that just kind of your hurts, your habits, your hang ups, those things in your past that keep popping up in your present and messing up your future. I kind of help you with those things, because unless you confront those things and get healed from those things, they're always going to pop up. And when you least expect it, you're going to make a bad decision based on your past. And so I want to get you away from that. I want you to heal from that. I want you to see where the treasure was that you left because you picked up the baggage. You picked up the baggage instead of the treasure. And I want you to go back, pick up that treasure and let's move on. Let's get healed from those things so we can so it can affect our present, so it won't affect our future. You see what I'm saying? So we want to get rid of this baggage from our past in our present so it doesn't affect our future because your past does not detect or di dictate who you are. It does not. It does not. I've made some, uh, my God, I've made some bad mistakes. I've made some worse decisions. I've made some things. I've done some things and some things have been done to me that I should be somewhere in a loony bin pulling my hair out of my head. But for the grace of God, because somebody stopped me and said, look, it's time for you to heal from that. Yes, it was bad. Yes, it was uh, just devastating and it was distracting. But it's time for you, if you're going to be who God says you're going to be, it's time for you to let that go. It's time for you to truly forgive. It's time for you to forgive yourself. And let's walk on. Let's walk on. Let's move forward. Again, we're talking about forward motion here. And so there has to be a sense of urgency. You got to have that sense of urgency that this is my time. This is my season. God keeps promising me something. How many of you have had a prophecy come that said that you're going to do something great? You're going to be able to obtain some, some type of satisfaction. And when you heard, you're like, oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. But it hasn't happened yet. Why hasn't it happened? Well, you can't put new wine in old wineskins. 
So you got to have a sense of urgency. It's your time now, not later. And you've got to believe that. You've got to believe that. I can't make you believe it. I had to believe it for myself. You got to believe it for yourself because it is time for you to move on. You have to have a sense of urgency and you have to uh, um, appreciate that I want to partner with you and I want you to be the very best you. Again, my only agenda is that you discover who you are and that you walk in the purpose that God has said over you. It's not the purpose Linda said. It's not the purpose your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your husband, your wife, your children, your uncle, your auntie. None of them. None of them get to say anything about your destiny other than God. And we want God to tell us who you are. And so when you come to me as a coach, not only do you get my coaching ability that I went to school for and that I learned. I learned some techniques and some things that God has brought me through that I pull in all together to help you. But not only do you get that, but you also get the spirit of discernment that resides in this temple. You also get the spirit of the gift of prophecy that li lies in this temple. You get the words of wisdom and the words of knowledge that lie in this temple. These are gifts that God has given me and I utilize these gifts to help you. Not in witchcraft. I pray about each and every client that I receive. God, what is it that you want me to say to them? What is it that you want me to help them with? How do I help them effectively so they can get the results that they want? Because to me, coaching is more than just coaching. To me, coaching has to be a transformation. You cannot be the same person you were when you walked through the door or when you picked up the phone or when you got on Skype with me that first day 10 days, 11 days, 12 days, three months, two years, 10 years, you cannot be that same person and me consider it a success. And so in order for me to achieve success, that means that you have to achieve success. So I'm only as successful as you are. So if you don't do the work, then I failed. If you don't do the work, then you fail. You understand what I'm saying? We're in this together. There, there's none of this. I'm sitting in my house with a million dollars and God called cars and yachts and all of this wonderful stuff. And you're down there struggling, wondering how do I implement what Linda told me to do? That's not how it works. We are in this together and we're going to walk side by side until you get the, the success that you want. But hear this, hear this for real. If you don't want to do the work, if you start wasting my time, I have no problem walking out. And saying, I can't work with you any longer. That's why you got to come ready to be coached. You got to come with a sense of urgency and you got to do the work. Because if you do the work, the, if you work the plan, the plan will work. If you do the work, you will see the results. Okay. And so um, one of the taglines for my company, and I love this tagline, is simply, um, I, I, it's a quote that I seen when I was getting ready to start the company is only those that can see the invisible can achieve the impossible. And the way I like to say it is see the invisible, achieve the impossible, dare to be you. That's what it's all about. It's all about you saying, I'm going to step out of what other people think. I'm going to step out of what other people want. And I'm even going to step out of what I think and what I want, because sometimes that's our biggest hindrance is what we think about ourselves is what we've allowed other people to put in our ear gate and we've put it down in our heart. And now we truly believe that about ourselves. Maybe your mother said you're just like your dad. You're never going to do nothing. He never did nothing you never going to do nothing. And so even though you might have become a lawyer and you're successful at it, you're always second guessing yourself. Why? Because of that statement your mother made. And you're not even tying the two together because you are a successful lawyer. You see what I'm saying? We have got to understand that we limit ourselves and we cause ourselves not to achieve certain things or go to certain levels because we think we're not qualified for it. But if God has called you to it, he's qualified you for it. So it has to be more than a hope. It has to be more than a wish. It has to be more than a desire. It has to be more than a whim. You have got to absolutely want to make this, the changes to see what it is that God wants. And you've got to be willing to take action because we can't react to everything. We've got to take action. We have to take action action. We can't be reacting to life. We've got to take action. That means we got to make some moves ourselves. 
We got to make life say, wait, wait, what happened? She just shook me off. Okay. And so, or he just shook me off. And so I work with individuals. I work with men and women and I want to work with you. If what I said has registered into you, has, has, it has, it has touched you in some kind of way. If you was like, if at any point you said, Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. I think I might need that. Then you need to contact me and let me tell you how you can contact me. There's two ways that you can contact me right now. You can contact me via Skype. And my Skype is Pastor Linda Hillman. Um, I do have one that's Coach Linda Hillman, but I don't use that account anymore. So Pastor Linda Hillman is the Skype that you need to get to me on. So you can contact me and say, hey, look, I want to see how we can work together. Or you can email me at coachmenow2, the number two. Um, at gmail.com. Those are the two ways you can get to me. My website should be up and running by Saturday um, because I'm working on it now and I gave myself a week from last Saturday to this coming up Saturday to get my website up and running. And so I am working on that and the Lord said the same. It will be up on Saturday. So that will be an additional way that you can get in touch with me. But for right now, I don't want you to wait till Saturday. I want you to go now. I want you to go now and contact me at coachmenow2 at gmail.com and say, I'm in, I'm in. I want to be coached. I'm ready to be coached. I'm ready to stop going around the mulberry bush and, and bush and feeling like I'm stuck. So let me give you a little bit of, um, let me give you a little bit of who, I, uh, what I do. In our first session, I always ask my clients five questions. I call them the transitional questions. The first question is, what is my pain? The second question is, what is the resolution? The third question is, why am I stuck? The fourth question is, what is the process? And the fifth question is, what is my first step? And so in that first session, we kind of go through that. In the first session, you know, it's an introductory session. And so it's, you know, it's only 15 minutes long. But this is what I'm going to do only for people that I haven't coached before, that you haven't had had opportunity to experience my coaching because I'm trying to expand my my borders because I've asked God to enlarge me and to expand my borders and to increase me and um, bless me with more clients. Forty of my forty of you. I want you guys to email me at coach me now to at gmail.com. Like I said, put in the sub line. Um, I'm in. And then in the, the message of the letter, say, um, your name, your number, your phone number, or your Skype and give me the email. If it's not the email you're sending it from the email to send a PayPal invoice to you. Why are you going to do that? Because this is what I'm going to do. For a limited time, and I, I said for this week, so today is Wednesday, and I'll probably what I'll probably do is go from Wednesday to Wednesday, from Wednesday to Wednesday, from this Wednesday to next Wednesday, I want to sign up 40 people into my practice, and I want to coach you for an hour. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do one hour session. Normally, my introductory sessions, like I just said, are 15 minutes, but I'm going to give you one hour, an intense coaching session with me so you can see what I absolutely do. We can do that in person. If you're local to me, we can do that over the phone or we can do that via Skype. However you want to do it, wherever you may be in the world, wherever you may be in the country, wherever you may be in California, we can do, we can work something out. So you're one, number one, you're going to email me, say, um, coach me now to at, um, gmail.com. You're going to put in the subject line. I'm in. You're going to put in the body of the email, your name, you where, how you want us to do it, whether it be phone or Skype. And then you're going to tell me if um, your email for PayPal is different than the email that you're sending me, what that email is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you an invoice for $49.97. Now, $49.97 is a very good price for my coaching because I'm going to tell you right now, um, I don't sell by the hour. And so me even doing this, I know it's a God thing. He woke me up this morning and God had me excited about doing this. And so I'm doing it for $49.97. Why $49.97? Well, because 
you got to invest in yourself. And what I heard from one of a, one of the mentors that I'm following right now, she said, don't give away content for free because if other people have paid for it. And so since they pay for it, I don't want to make them feel that I'm cheapening myself. I want you to know that this is an investment in you, not an investment in me. It's an investment in you. And you're going to get an hour of my time. Now, normally I do I do packets. So there's a three month, a six month, a 12 month, and an 18 month packet that you can buy. I'm not trying to sell you a packet right now. I don't, that's not, that's not even my agenda right now. My agenda is to see if we fit. So I'm going to give you an hour of coaching, an hour of coaching for $49.97. Not only are you going to get that hour of coaching, which is one-on-one -on -one with me, but you're going to get a packet of more information. This information is going to help you prepare for that hour of coaching. So what I normally give to my clients that sign on the dotted line, you're going to get that and you're going to be able to work through that process. And then we'll meet for an hour and we'll work through those five questions, those five transitional questions in depth. So what you're going to get is what I would normally give someone over a three month period. You're going to get a very good condensed, uh, intensified session in one hour. And when you walk out of there, not only are you going to know what your pain is, you're going to know what the resolution is, how to resolve that pain. You're going to know why you keep getting stuck. You're going to know what the process is for you to get unstuck. And you're going to know what your first step is. And you're going to know it to the bare minimum. You're going to know it to the core of your being. And that is the great thing. That is the great thing about what I do as a coach. And so uh, go ahead and send that email to me. Not only that, the first uh, five of you that sign up, you're going to get an additional bonus because I want to reward you for being quick. I want to reward you for being quick. So how am I going to reward you? I'm going to give you a 30-minute follow-up session. So you'll get an hour of my coaching, intensified hour of coaching. I'm talking about intensive. It's going to be intensive. It's going to be focused. It's going to be none of this. Okay, let's play games because all we got is an hour and we got to get the work done. So you're going to get an hour of my coaching. And then for the five of you, you're going to get a 30 minute follow up. What does that 30 minute follow up look like? Okay, this is what we said in the hour of coaching. This is what, what you were supposed to accomplish. Tell me where you are. Tell me what's going on. And then you'll have walk away with some next steps. Now, all of that's coming to you, whether you decide to continue with me or not. All of that's coming to you. And that's a great, that's a great, that's right there within itself. What I'm, what I'm actually giving you is what, what most people pay $1,097 for. I'm giving it to you for $49.97. Not saying that as a sales pitch. I'm just letting you know this is the value of what you're getting. And what I give to them that pay that price, you're going to get at your price. So it's it's not, it's not, it's, I am who I am. Okay. I am who I am. I don't know how to dummy it down. So you're going to get the full, you're going to get the full lender. When you coach with me for that hour, for that 30 minutes, if you're one of the first five, then you're going to know exactly what you get from now on, if you go on and move on with me, and I hope that you will decide to go with me after you experience my coaching. But listen to this. In addition to that, in addition to that, everyone that signs up with me, everyone, whether you're the first five or not, everyone that signs up with me is going to get a gift from me. Um, and this gift is valued at $25. It's actually probably more than $25. Um, but at least $25 at the least $25 is valued at $25. And I'm going to give that to you just for trying. me. And you get that whether you become my client or not. So basically, basically, not only do you get an hour and a half if you're the first five, but you get an hour of coaching, you get the packet that you can go back and, and work these, these, these work, um, worksheets that you're going to get. You can always go back and work them again and again and again. And, 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 Take and within them, they do work for you. I mean, you're going to start to see something. One of my clients just said she just went through the pack and she's like, man, I can already see how this is going to help me. 
she hasn't even had her session with me yet. And she's already been helped. So you're getting, you're getting, you're getting the creme de la creme of what it is that I do. I'm not trying to hold anything back. Why? Because yes, I am trying to woo you to become my client. Yes, I'm trying to let you see the value that I can add to your life. Okay? I really am. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. That's what I am. Because I want to help you. That's what I was created to do is to help you. I was created to help you, to stir you in the right direction. And so I really want you to give me that opportunity to do so. So again, the email is, write it down. Coach me to or coach me now to coach me now to the number two, one, two, the number two, coach me now to now don't do coach me now because coach me now belongs to somebody else and no telling what they're going to try to coach you with. So coach me now to at gmail.com. You can send that email. I am in, in the subject line, your name, whether you want to do it via Skype or phone. And then I need your PayPal account email. So the email that's attached to your PayPal account. You say, well, I don't have PayPal account. Don't worry. Tell me you don't have PayPal account and I'll give you a phone number that you can call and we can do your payment over the phone. It's not a big deal. We can work with you however you need to be worked with. Someone says, do you accept checks? I accept checks as long as they're good. They're not good. I don't accept your check. And I called the bank before I take it to the bank. So just know that. So if you want to do check or money order, that's fine. Um, put that in your email and I will give you an address to send it to. But remember, until I get the money, you're not in that. You can't be one of the first five. So even if you're one of the first five, but you say you're going to mail it, I got to wait until I get that mail from you. So if you can pay by PayPal or pay over the phone with me and we will make sure that you get it. And the first five will get that 30 extra 30 minutes as a follow up. And then everyone that signs up will get that gift that's valued at $25 or more. And I really, I really, I really, I really, I really want to hear from you. I really do because I want you to experience the life that you can experience the life that you were meant to experience the life that is waiting for you. If you would just say, I'm going to stop limiting myself. I'm going to stop complaining and stop working in doubt and stop listening to the naysayers and the haters around me. And I'm going to do what it is that I know that I was made to do. And if you don't know what it is, well, that's okay. We're going to help you. So again, thank you for taking the time to listen to this. I know it's been a little bit of a, a long, um, it's a long video, but I just really wanted to take the time to really show you who I am because some of you, you see me around, you see me with this one or that one. And you, we don't really, I don't really step out into the forefront and be like, Hey, this is who I am. And this is what I do. I'm not that type of person, but I wanted to come on today because I woke up with an urgency that I need to get out there and really start helping people and stop waiting for the people to come to me thinking that they are going to find their way to me. I got to go out. And just like I said to you, it's time for me to move forward. I've, t I've sat back and I've honed my skills and I perfected my system. Now it's time for me to go ahead and utilize it and people are already benefiting from it but listen but listen but listen I've revamped so much and there's so much that I've added because you know over the years I've learned new things over the years I mean I've been coaching almost 10 years coaching professionally I was coaching even before that but now I'm coaching professionally I've been doing this almost 10 years and so there are some things that I've learned there's some mistakes that I've made and I've gotten up and shaken the dust off and and taped up my a band-aid up my uh scraped up knees. So I got some experience under my belt and I'm willing to give that experience to you. I'm willing to help you become who it is that God says that you're meant to be. So remember me, Coach Linda, yours truly, Coach Linda Hillman at Destined to Be You. Now listen, one last thing and then I'm gonna let you go for real. I have started a Facebook group called Destined Achievers, and these are people that I'm working with or people that desire to work with me, and they're trying to get a feel for me. If you want to join that group, go ahead and look it up on Facebook, Destined Achievers, just like Destined to be you. It's Destined Achievers, and you'll know you're in the right place because there's a banner that says 
um, destined to be you empowerment group. You know that's the right group. And I want you to join in there and get involved. And we are going to absolutely have a ball in that group because I have so much to share and I want to share it with you. Also, follow me on Periscope at Linda Hillman, Periscope at Linda Hillman on Twitter at Linda Hillman on Facebook, Coach Linda Hillman to the number and Pastor Linda Hillman to the number. You can find me there. Um, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Pinterest, I'm on LinkedIn, you know, basically everywhere that you should be, I am, or at least I'm trying to get there. So look for me and follow me because I'm be giving out some, some, I'm be hard hitting with the content over the next few months, over the, you know, next year or whatever, because there's so much that I need to pour out. I'm about to write a book. Oh man. All right, I got to let you guys go. I can tell you guys so much, but come on and get in, get on, get on board, get on board. It's, um, uh, consider me Jesus walking on the water and you're Peter in the boat and I'm bidding you to come. Hallelujah. You be blessed. You be encouraged. Remember, only those that can see the invisible can achieve the impossible. Dare to be you now.